If I ask this object what your tip is, it goes through the same calculation and it uses the attributes that we've already set. So it uses the dine-in attribute, it uses the service attribute, it uses the cost attribute to come up with the calculation of the tip. When it's all done, it returns it. All right. So, we now have taken that calculation and moved it completely off of that page. And it's in its own component. Our last task is to go in and um, actually change our page to use this class to do the calculation. Now we got to wire those components together, right? We have our GUI component, which is our web page. We have our problem domain component, or business component, which is this meal class. We now have to connect those together. So, let's go in here. And, first thing I'm going to do is, remember, the meal is our template. The meal is a sort of a kind of thing, a category of thing. All right? We have to make an object for this specific meal that we're calculating the tip on. So, I will say, oops, meal m equals new meal. What that does is that makes an instance of that meal class. So we're not talking about we're not talking about meals in general. We're talking about this meal that we want to calculate the tip on right now. All right. So that M then, because it's a member, because it's an instance of that meal class, it has values for the instance variables, and we can set those. So how do I set the cost? I say M dot Set cost, and what do I set the cost to? This variable up here. M dot set service to STR service and M dot set dine in STR dine in. All right. So now I have set properly those instance variables on that class. So now I can ask the class. Hey, what is your tip? What should the tip be? All right. And then we can take the answer that gets returned and we can put that into the label. All right. Again, This code and the code behind is sort of the glue code, right? It, 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 it binds together the user interface, which is our ASPX file, with our business logic, all right? With our business logic component, which is that meal object. What is it responsible for? It's responsible for gathering the data that that class is going to need. What do we need to calculate the tip? We need to know the bill, we need the, the service uh, level, and we need to know whether it's dine-in or not. So we gather that from the form. All right? We create the class that's going to handle that, or we create an object that's going to handle that. We set the appropriate attributes, and then we ask for the calculation.
I, for good measure, I'm going to go and change this one. I can create three classes. One for the meal with the poor service, one for the meal with the average, and one for the meal with the excellent service. So M, oops, M1, M2, and M3. And I can say, No arguments. That's right, because we set the instance very close. Alright, so I can then do So now, for our grand test, does everything hook right? You type the E in there, that goes up for excellent. Yeah. All right, so. I go here and say it's dine-in. Service and the amount was $22. The tip amount is $3.30. Is that correct? Yep. Or if I put it in here, it shows me the three values. So now this code has the advantage of we can use it on any page. So we can bring that class in anywhere we need it. All right. Now, I realize that's kind of a lot to, for today, depending on, on how much you've come into the class knowing about classes and objects. Um, again, you know, I don't know what everyone's background is, if, 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 if you're very familiar with it or not. If, it's, if you're very familiar with it, then, then this was just a review. If you're not familiar with it at all, it might be a lot to absorb, all right? We'll talk more about this uh, in subsequent classes and, uh, and go from there. Any questions about any of this? All right, we'll see you over in lab then.